Oh, is there another part of um, anxiety is worry? So is there a reliable technique to stop worrying? And here's my solution. We worry because we fear others. So we don't fear others as in they're about to stab us, but we are if you listen to psychologists, they'll tell us we really care about other people's opinions. So we could be doing so many exciting things out there. But the reason why we don't even try is not because somebody is going to kick us if on the public or something. We actually care that they will laugh at us. But laughing doesn't hurt us. But we really care about that and to the extent that psychologists tell us that we rather be miserable than to stand out which is really interesting, something really interesting about us human beings. So how do we overcome that? Okay, and I, I, I like to say in a funny way, if you're a big fan of the Lord of the Rings, you might get this little quote. Uh, it's kind of a misquote quote. And it goes, the one fear that rules them all is the fear of God. So in the Ru uh, Lord of the Rings, do you ever watch Ru Lord of the Rings? Do you know the No, I, I, I don't have a TV in the house. Oh, I don't really? even have a okay. radio. So just for the people who don't know, um, like yourself, there's a there's a epic uh, trilogy. I think it is three movies or so, or maybe more, uh, and it's all based around this powerful ring. And I think it means something, but I'm not sure. And it says there's one ring to rule them all. But I'll tell you, there's one fear that rules them all, and that's the fear of God. Now. And it's also part of Christianity. The, the root of all wisdom comes from the fear of God, it's, uh, from the Bible. Um, uh, and that's also in Islam. So there's a lot of similarities between the, our religions. Of course there are, because they all come from the same God. Uh, but when you fear God, that what does it mean? So first of all, people think um, they have a really bad perception of God. Uh, that is, God's always ready to do you know to do something bad to you but in the quran at least uh, it's every chapter of the holy quran begins with i am god the most kind so kind that i'll give you things even if you don't ask me and the second thing god says in the beginning of every chapter of the quran of the 114 chapters i think maybe it's two chapters are one but anyway um says if you do good things i will give you even more like if you work hard i'll give you more so that's the god that i'm talking about so but what kind of fear is it then so there's two kinds of fear there's fear of when you're with a person that say I'm, I'm i'm friends with simon i fear being rude to simon not because simon's going to kick me up or something it's just that he won't like me as much okay and there's a fear of love loss of love that's the main fear of people who are striving to better themselves okay um but then there, there is the other kind of fear because the quran and all religious teachings are for all kinds of people and they're also for the murderers for example and they need a different kind of fear that they are going to get in trouble for doing something really bad so that's just kind of to introduce god because i think god is being really badly misrepresented in the modern age so i just wanted to explain that but when you fear god and you know god is always watching you you don't think about are oh, the police going to watch me if i'm doing something bad you know god is up here and every moment you're you've got a choice between good and bad you think god is watching me i'm going to do good right mm -hmm. but why is that so important uh, and how does that help you overcome the fear of others, which is the biggest fear? OK, when you care about God, who's all powerful and you can do everything, what difference does it make if a human being has an opinion on you? So that's the idea. If you care about the all powerful, then you don't care about the piddly human beings but when you ignore god then everybody becomes your master because you start caring about everybody's opinions well any thoughts about it you can disagree well you know the, the, these are massive questions that you're asking and we could go on for hours but you know if you don't believe in the creator then it's hardly surprising that you're suffering from anxiety you know without the creator in your life you you will struggle you've got to have something to refer to uh and uh, myself I, I i'm not afraid of the creator because i'm 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 ready to go now this minute if i have to 
uh, I, I try to live, live a good, clean life. So does my family. If I have to come now, then so be it. Um, so basically, uh, that, that's me. I, I, I'm lucky I don't, believe it or not. I feel that I don't suffer from anxiety. Cool, uh, yeah. And that's uh, because of the simple life that I lead. Yes. And so there's a lot of um, studies, especially there was a famous nurse who would um, be in these, uh, take care of people who are about to die. And uh, they had all these different regrets. And there were regrets about basically not leading a good life if you were to summarize it. So if you lead a good life, like you say, you're ready to die any moment, you know, and people who are in that profession. So I was listening to a video about um, people who, you know, who are in that profession of taking care of terminally ill people, people who are about to die. They see a massive difference between those who on the one side who have lived a life that is a good life versus a life where, you know, they they've done done bad things and those people who do bad things when they die they're restless because they're not they don't feel prepared to die as it were you know because everybody kind of knows deep down there's you know there's they've got a there's there's no such thing as an atheist and there's another that's kind of a we, we, we've track. got to be ready are we still there Oh, yes, you're still there. Yes. What were you going to say mm. to finish that off? Yeah. Um, I say, uh, I, I, I basically have a, a, a simple routine uh, and I, I stick to that routine and uh, I try to get all the things that I need to get done. I, I, I just look forward to see my friends. Uh, my friends uh, lift me up uh, and I don't think. I've never been a drinker. I'm not a drug taker. I'm not a gambler. I'm not trying to paint myself as a, um, a saint or anything. But I'm 65 uh, in a couple of weeks. I've never been ill. I'm still fit and strong. Uh, I, I've trained virtually every day of my life since I was 15. Uh, I still train uh, every day. And um, I'm, I'm grateful to my creator for giving me this length of time that's been wonderful so it's, it's, so, it's your style it, of life as well yes so much to do with your style of life like you can some people feel every day is a misery because they're always chasing something but if you're not chasing something there's another saying in the prophet muhammad contentment is a the enduring wealth it's like once you feel like you've got everything you need then everything else is a bonus. It's like yeah, it's yeah. the most everlasting world. So that's why you you feel great every day because you're not chasing something. You're like, I'm just going to do a couple of good things, a simple life, as you say, and that's it. Life is a beautiful, beautiful thing because you got air, yeah, yeah. you got sunlight, you got the opportunity to do something like grow potatoes and serve humanity. Brilliant. Get on my bike. I'm out on my bike every day. I've got to get out on my bike. Uh, and go and see my friends, have a coffee, have a read, have a chat, do a bit of research, uh, communicate with people like yourself. Uh, and I, I find that I'm, I'm making more friends. Uh, I've made so many friends at Speaker's Corner. It's unbelievable. I've got more friends now than I, I've ever had. And there was a period in my life where I did chase money, big money, but it didn't make me happy. It never made me happy because, and, and the frightening thing was, as I was chasing that money, time went so quickly. It was frightening. Frightening. That is fascinating. I'm going to talk about that, actually, time passing quickly, because that's part of a, a verse of the Quran about feeling lost. That's going to oh, come absolutely. later. That's going to be interesting. Yeah. yeah. So, okay, 